My love, my wife, death, that hath sucked the honey of thy breath, hath had no power yet upon thy beauty. Thou art not conquered. Beauty's ensign yet is crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks, and death's pale flag is not advancing here. so fair? Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous, and that he keeps thee here in the dark to be his paramour? For fear of that, I will stay with thee, and never from this palace of dim night depart again. Here, here will I remain with worms that are thy chambermaids. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, oh, you the doors of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss. Come, bitter conduct. Come, unsavory guide. Here's to my love. Apothecary, thy drugs are quick. Thus, what a kiss.
here. Come up close with my true love hands. Poison I see hath been his timeless end. This is the place. Church of Rome, Church of Pitiful sight. Juliet. Bleeding. Newly dead. Go to the prince. Run to the Capulets. Raise up the blood of the Jews. What misadventure so early up rises our person from our morning rest? What should it be that is so shrieked abroad? The people in the street cry Romeo, some Juliet, and all run with open outcry toward our monument. What fear is this of startles in our ears? Oh, heavens! Oh, wife! Look! Look how our daughter bleeds! I mean, oh, the sight of death this is about warns my old age to a sepulchre. Come, Montague, for thou art early up to see thy son and heir, thou early down. Alas, my liege, my wife is dead tonight. Grief at our son's exile hath stopped her breath. What further woe conspires against mine age? Look, and thou shalt see. for a while, so we can clear up these ambiguities. Capulet, Montague, see what a scourge is laid upon your hate, that heaven finds means to kill your joys with love, and I, for winking at your discords too, have lost the brace of kinsmen. All are punished. A glooming peace this morning with the brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go ahead and talk more of these sad <coughs> things. Some shall be pardoned, and some punished. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. 